Hello Filong Skippers, I'm gonna show you how to make this. First we're gonna create a text. I have chosen Copper Plate Gothic as a font with the, these parameters. We will start by going to the Fill and Stroke dialog. I will choose for the fill a bright red. Then proceed to the Stroke Paint. I will choose pure white then choose this for the width of the stroke then we're gonna proceed with opening the filter editor if it's not open you can open it via this menu we're gonna start by assigning the new created filter to the text, then rename it as you wish. We're gonna create the first filter using Gaussian Blue. We will unlock this lock and we will only Modify the first value, then add a turbulence filter. We're gonna let it be as a turbulence, not a fractal. We'll choose the size of it, then the details to 10. The, the seed you can choose as you like. Okay, then we're gonna go and add a composite filter. We will link it to the Gaussian blue and choose arithmetic. I will enter the values we need. Now it's finished. We're gonna add another filter. Blend. Don't forget to subscribe and share. We will choose multiply. Okay, then add a color matrix. I will modify the values. One one and minus one eighty. This changes dramatically the look of the text. We're gonna add a specular lighting. We will choose decent light. If you can see now the effect ta is taking shape. I will change the surface scale to this value, then the constant, then the expand.
we will add a color matrix I change it to saturate then add a flood filter we will choose a bright blue This is what will define the color of the rocky texture. Then we're gonna add a blend filter to blend the color with the texture. We'll choose lighten. Then composite to cut out the what is out of the letters. We choose N, the composite. Then we're gonna add another composite to. And this time uh, we're gonna use it to control the shadows and the lights of the effect. And voila, we we'll add the final touch. I almost forgot. If you want to change the color. We'll test it via the flood filter. This way you can change it as you wish. See so this look ancient like the Greek Roman text on a temple. Very cool effect.